He chose you. I'm Pastor Arlen. Today is March the 9th. Scripture I have for you is found in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. says, For He has chosen us in Him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in His sight. So did you know God had a plan for you even before He put the foundations of the earth here? He created you to be holy. He created you to be blameless right in His sight. And so why? He chose you to be his ambassador. In other words, his representative here on the earth. God created you to reflect his glory. He created you to reflect his character. He created you in his very own righteousness and his own holiness. So you can think about that for a moment. Part of your purpose on the earth is to be a representative for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That should make you want to walk a little bit different to think about that. And it should make you uh, <clears throat> think a little more carefully about the places you go and the things that you do. Um, are you representing God's holiness today? Remember, God will equip you to do whatever He called you to do. If there are things in your life that you need to change, God wants to empower you to overcome those things. I mean, he's already given the power. It's already there. You just have to use it. Receive his strength and might today so that you can walk in the holiness and as his ambassador and live in the destiny he has for you. You have to receive it. It's there for those who take it. I'd like to say a prayer for you. Father, I pray for everyone under my voice today. Father, thank you for choosing us to be in Christ, even before the foundation of the world. And Father, we ask that you would search our heart and remove anything that is displeasing in your sight and help us to live a holy life today. And Father, we thank you as we keep our eyes set upon Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. And thanks for joining me. Scripture again, Ephesians 1, 4. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. God bless.